Right, so here you are sitting in this classroom, and you're not overwhelmed by chaos. Well, why? Well, first of all, you're in a city. That's helpful. There's electricity here, and there's natural gas, and there's people to fix all the plumbing. And so the fact that you're in a city makes life much simpler right off the bat. There's no, nothing trying to eat you. You don't have to contend with the fact that it's like minus 20 for three months, and then you're inside this building. And, well, look at that. There's electric light here, and, you know, and, and the chairs work, and there's not going to be an earthquake, and probably the whole building isn't going to fall down. But you should also remember that when you're protecting your culture, say, if you identify with it, you're patriotic or whatever it is, or you think that your culture is worth defending, you're not just defending something psychological. It's like the culture, the, function, the functioning culture keeps the lights on. You know, so it doesn't just protect you from death anxiety. It also protects you from death. It also protects you from death. It also protects you from death.